Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about or continue our discussion all about calculator techniques for engineering board exam. So for today's topic, we will be talking about, again, algebra. Okay, we will be solving an equation with multiple variables. So I'm going to teach you how to solve for that variable, unknown variable, the value of the unknown variable, given that we have multiple variables in our equation. So we will be still recalling our knowledge about shift solve in this uh, uh, topic. Okay, but this time, if we use shift solve and just find one variable, okay, so we are asked to find the value of the other variable. So we will be using the comma technique here, comma technique. That's what I call it. So uh, in order for us to solve that variable, okay. So let's try number one. So as you can see here, in problem number one, we have if x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals zero, we have two variables. We have x and y. It says find the value of y when x equals one. So in manual computation, we can simply substitute one here, then isolate y, get the value of y, then that is the answer. But if we try to use calculator, what are we going to do is first simply write this whole equation on our calculator so we have alpha x squared okay and then we have plus 2 alpha x alpha y plus alpha y squared equals zero so we have two variables okay we have x and y so in order for us to use shift solve to find y, because that is what the problem, the, the question is uh, trying to solve. We are trying to solve the value of y. So we are going to input what we call a comma. So we have shift and then press this parenthesis sign, comma. And then since we are asking or we are asked to find y, we will enter again y. So this simply means that we are going to solve this equation, okay? The y in the equation, given that we will input a value of x. So again, we put y here because we want our calculator to solve y, okay? Given that we will be inputting a value of x. So in this problem, x is equal to 1. x equals 1. So if we press shift solve, shift and then solve, the calculator will ask what is the value of x what initial what is the value of x okay so we have one and then solve for y okay solve for y then just click equal sign okay we can start with we can, you can give uh, an initial value or you can um, choose not to give so we can give an initial value for the calculator to start with computing okay so we can choose from the choices so upon Shift solve, we, the answer is negative 1. We arrive at an answer at negative 1. So, it's definitely the answer for this problem. So, again, we use the comma in order for the calculator to know what variable are we going to, is she or he, we're going to calculate. Okay? In this case, we need to find the value of y. Given that we have the value for the other variable, which is x. Okay? So we have only four problems in here. So I guess this will be a short discussion, and but I hope you will learn something. Okay. Okay, let's try to solve problem number two. So for problem number two, find the value of k for which x plus 4 is a factor of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x plus k. So the value that we are asked to find is the value of k in this expression. So... The problem says that x plus 4 is a factor of this expression, okay? So, if we divide this expression by x plus 4, that by remainder theorem, that should be equal to 0, okay? So, if we isolate the value of this, if we divide this expression by x plus 4, the value of x should be negative 4, okay? So, what are we going to do is simply... We type in the formula x cubed plus 2, oops, x cubed plus 2 alpha x squared minus 
7 alpha x. This k we can replace by any other variable. So let's try to replace that k with a. So plus alpha a. Of course, if we divide this again, this should be equal to 0 because if we divide this, x, uh, this uh, expression by x plus 4, by remainder theorem, the answer should be 0 if this is a factor of this. Okay? So, and of course, we know the value of x. If we transpose this, okay, if we divide this by x plus 4, again, the value of x here would be negative 4. So, again, we are asked to find for the value of k. So, we have to put comma, shift, parenthesis. So, we have to have alpha a. Okay, so for the calculator to know that he is going to solve, okay, he is going to solve for the value of a given that we give a value of x to the calculator. Again, this is equal to 0 because it says in the problem that x plus 4 is a factor of this. And by remainder theorem, if x plus 4 is a factor of this expression, by remainder theorem, if we divide this by this, it should be equal to 0. So, let's try. Shift solve. So, the value of x is not 4, okay? It's negative 4 here, okay? So, we're going to solve for a. Let's say that we input an initial uh, value of negative 4 here. So, the value of a is 4. So, meaning the value of k here, okay, should be equal to 4. So, in order for us to check that, okay, so what are we going to do is simply delete this, okay, and we, we are going to replace this value of k, which is 4, okay, and if we calculate it by negative 4 of, because of this, okay, if we divide this, the remainder theorem states that if this is a factor of this, if we divide this expression by this, the answer should be 0. And, of course, that is equal to 0. Okay, you can also use that um, reverse engineering, okay, if you know the concept of the remainder theorem. So, the answer for our problem, the value of k here should be equal to 4. Okay, so if 3 log of x equal, uh, minus log of y equals 0, express y in terms of of x. So we are going to express this equation in terms of x. Okay. So we are going to express only isolate y on the other side. Okay. In terms of x. So what are we going to do? Okay. So first, again, we have two variables. If we are dealing with logarithmic, okay, it is best to use 1.5. Okay. Since we have uh, two variables here. Okay and we are going to isolate y, we will set a value of x. So let's try. So we have 3 log of x alpha x minus log of alpha y equals 0. So we are going to solve for the value of y, okay, in terms of x. So we are going to what? Give or input or press a comma here and then it says we will solve for y because we the problem states that we have to express y in terms of x. So what are we going to do is to shift solve. The calculator will ask for a value of x. Okay, It's safe to use if we are dealing with logarithm, Okay, the ones that uh, has a decimal. So 1.5 Okay, just to be sure. Okay, and the calculator will ask, solve for y. So, we cannot uh, substitute any of the choices. So, we can actually uh, input any other variables. Let's say 1.5, okay? That's the initial initial value where the calculator will start to calculate, okay? It doesn't uh, uh, matter what, what uh, we will input into that. So, it says it is 3.375. So, we can store that in our calculator, okay, shift store A, and then what are we going to do? We're going to go to the choices, okay, and we are going to input all of this, X. By using, or we're going to calculate this, 
using the same x that we've used, which is 1.5. Okay? So, if this equation equals to the once value of y that we get a while ago, then that is the answer. So, this is 3.375. If we divide this answer by the value that we've stored with uh, variable a, okay, it, it, it equals to 1. So, definitely, letter A is the answer. Okay? So, because these two are equal. Okay? So, that is how we solve that. So, if we try x squared, obviously, x squared, calculate it with the same value of x that we have uh, used a while ago in shift solve. So, 9.4, 2.25. If we divide this answer by the, the, the answer that we get, Okay, from shift solve, which we store in A, so it's not equal to 1. So that definitely, that is not the answer. And so on and so forth when we go to the next choices. Okay, so clearly, the answer should be y equals x cubed. So we have successfully expressed y in terms of x correctly because we have used uh, certain values for x to calculate the value of y. So, for number four, this would be our last problem, I think. This would be our last problem. So, the same thing, okay? Express y in terms of x. So, if we are going to observe this, we have three variables. We have b as the base. We have y, we have x, and b here. So, we are going to express y in terms of x. So, what are we going to do is simply, again, write this equation, okay? We have log of b, let's try this, b, okay? Alpha b here, and then we have alpha y equals 2 alpha x plus log this log with the base, alpha b, and then we have alpha x. So again, what are we trying to find? We are going to express it in y. So we're going to put comma and alpha y here to indicate, okay, what or to instruct again the calculator what variable is she or going to is she or he or she going to solve, okay? So the calculator will solve. So in this case, y, so that we can input the value of x and b to to check. What is the simplification of this in terms of x? So, shift solve again. The calculator will ask what value of b we are going to use. Okay? So, what value of b? So, we can use value of b, let's say 1.5. Okay? 1.5. And, of course, the calculator will also ask what value of x are we going to uh, uh, input. So, we use B for 1.5. We use X for 2.5. Okay? Always have a decimal. Never 1 okay, or never 0 because of the unique property of logarithm. So, 2.5. So, solve for Y. This is the initial value. Okay? Then, solve for Y. Then, that is 18.984375. Take note that this value is already stored okay, in the variable Y. So, if we evaluate y, alpha y, then that is the answer that we get, okay? So, what are we going to do? Move on now to the choices. Let's have letter A. So, we have 2 alpha x, okay? And then alpha b raised to alpha x. So, we simply calc and compare the choices to the uh, value of y that we get a while ago, okay? So, if, if we divide... The, the result of this and the result that we get on y a while ago, if that equals 1, then that is the correct answer. So, we have solve. Okay? The value of x a while ago is 2.5. Okay? And the value of b is 1.5. So, equals. So, that is 13.778. Okay? Something. And then, we have to shift, store it to a. So, now we divide alpha a. Okay? Divided by alpha y, which is the answer here, okay, in our shift solve. So, if that equals 1, that is the correct answer. So, it's not. 
So let's move on to number uh, letter B choice. So we have alpha x, we have alpha b, okay? Uh, then raised to 2, then this exponent is still raised to x, alpha x. So calc, calculate. So we have x 2.5, 1.5 uh, for b. So the answer is 24. So we can simply use answer, the recent answer divided by the alpha y. Okay? So the while ago, uh, a while ago, I, I stored it into A. But we can also use this answer divided by Y. If this equals to 1, then that is the answer. So it's not. Okay? So let's move on. Time to move on. No. Let's try letter D. Okay? Then we have alpha X raised to uh, alpha X, then alpha B raised to negative alpha X squared. Okay? Same values, X for 2.5, B for 1.5. And then we have 0 0.19. So answer divided by the value that we have solved a while ago. So it's not equal to 1. So lastly, we try letter C. Okay, obviously that should be the correct answer. Okay, that should equal to 1. So we have alpha x, then we have alpha b raised to 2 alpha x. So calc. So we have for the value of x 2.5, for the value of b 1.5. And that is 18 point something. So answer, that answer divided by alpha y and it equals 1. So the value or the answer for this problem is the simplification of this, okay? Expressing y in terms of x is letter C. Okay, so that is how you uh, apply calculator techniques when dealing with multiple variables. So I hope you guys, you enjoyed that short discussion. So please tune in for more uh, calculator techniques and make sure if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that uh, thumbs up. And please check out my other videos about calculator techniques. So thank you so much for listening. Again, this is Engineer Abbott. God bless us all.